Your side continues tracking four victims of a pothole disaster that struck on February the 8th. Remember that? One of them speaks out tonight saying VDOT needs to be held responsible for making sure she gets reimbursed. Andy Fox reports tonight from the newsroom. Tom, according to VDOT, 200 claims have been filed in the massive pothole problem that hit 264. Finally, 14 days after she got the flat tire, one of our victims got this email from the pothole contractor. Too long, she says, and she wants to know where VDOT is in the entire process. I think we should be dealing with VDOT and because it's their responsibility to take care of the roads in Virginia. Nicole Luster speaks from experience. Ten on your side with her on February 8th when she got a flat tire from Pothole Plague 264. It took 14 full days for TME Enterprises, the pothole repair contractor, to make Luster customer number 2549. Too long, she says. VDOT needs to be in charge of consumer claims, not TME. They don't Man. answer to you. Right, so they can do really whatever they want and we don't have a leg to stand on because they're private. It is clear the pothole disaster has shown a weakness in the claims process. The private contractor, TME, is a private company and a contractor, not the boss. VDOT's the boss. Commonwealth Transportation Board member Aubrey Lane told us this last week. At the end of the day, the roads, even though we have a third party looking at them, they're maintained by VDOT, uh, and we should be a part of this decision. The VDOT should be to make sure that the appropriate thing is done. And interim district administrator Mike Estes told us the same thing Friday. You agree accountability must rest with VDOT. It's you guys. I believe ultimately that we, we are where it stops. The one thing Luster has going for her, an eyewitness, 10 on your side. We were there when she got the flat. Is it reassuring to have 10 on your side, on your side in this? It is because I really feel like they, this would have just dropped off if you guys didn't help us out. So I really do appreciate it. 10 on your side, send information on our four pothole victims to VDOT. We will continue to track how long it takes for them to get reimbursed if they do get reimbursed. But remember, we are eyewitnesses to their being true and honest victims in the 264 pothole disaster. We'll keep you updated. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.